Okay, I'm down in the woods. I'll come down here. There's some brush left over from trees I cut down last year or this past winter. And I'm looking for some pieces I can use to make a couple of lamps out of. And that might be one. If I remember right, that's sweet gum, though. No, that one over there is sweet gum. That one there is that wild cherry. The one on the right. Um, getting kind of small in the diameter, though. But I'll come down here and cut up some sections out of it. And we'll see what we can come up with. Sure it'd be nice to use some wild black cherry though. And I gotta get some more of these pieces up to the house. Get them all split up for wood for burning on the stove this winter. And I gotta cut down some more trees for heat. So but we're not gonna do a whole lot today. We're supposed to get up over a hundred degrees again, so I'll get down here. It's about seven, about seven o'clock in the morning, and uh, see what we come up with. I think I'm going to use some of that cherry, and yeah, I like the color of cherry anyhow. All right, we'll add more to this later. Okay, these are my logs I pulled up from down in the woods, and there's a couple of them I can't use at all. They're just too crooked like that top one sitting there but there's some other ones down here on the bottom a couple of them down there that got some beautiful heartwood on them and I think I'm going to use those to maybe make some lamps out of and I'm going to go back down see if I can't find some branches down there and make some canes out of I got some neat ideas for canes that I think would just be beautiful but um, that's my choices right now. And then there's a piece of cedar that I'm thinking of using. And here's another one that I'm going to use. I've got to cut off the, the stubs on it. The crowns where the branches were. And then I think that log there, I think I'm going to cut that up into some pieces and maybe see what I can do about making a floor lamp. I think that would look cool for a floor lamp. I'd have to cut it into sections because I can only drill with the ex drill bit extension I got. I can only go about 12 inches or so. So I'd have to cut it into one foot lengths and drill it down through but we'll see how that goes but that would have some nice size heartwood in it so that's where I'm at right now and this is my chainsaw it's a nice little craftsman my brother gave me and uh, bought for me I should say and him and his wife are just wonderful I just love them and uh, anyhow there's some of it. I was going to use that piece sitting there for a lamp, but it's been sitting there so long that it's cracked all the way through the whole length. You can kind of see the crack right there. But it goes the full length on both sides. So as soon as I tried working it, it would just split in half. So that's probably going to go into the... Um, Either the firebox. I've been trying to think of something else to make out of it, but I'm not sure what I can do do with it yet. But that's where it all sets right now, and uh, I'll do an, I'll do some more. Okay, these are red oak, and um, I think I'm going to be using oak to make my lamp out of. I got them cut down to about 16 inches or so, maybe 18. Just kind of eyeballed it. And then I got some other red oak over here. There's a piece 
right there. It's a nice chunk. And then we got another piece here. I like the heartwood on that one. Yeah, that's got some real nice heartwood on it. So does this one. That's sweet gum. I can never pick out the sweet gum just by looking at it. Once I cut it, I can smell it. And uh, like I said, that's been sitting down there for since January. And where I cut it at, you can still feel it. It's wet. You should have seen it went right after I first cut it. And uh, see, you can right there. You can kind of see the shadows. This is all wet, and this is here is still is starting to dry out. But it's got a it's got a sweet licorice type smell to it almost. Isn't really much good for anything, but. Um, it burns once you dry it out. It burns. It burns hot. So that's probably what I'll do with the sweet gum is just burn it. Most of this up here is sweet gum. The thing about sweet gum is even when you got it cut and it sits there, it'll grow mold and everything right on the ends. Um, it's probably because of the high sugar content. Sweet gum is a type of a maple. And uh, they'll make railroad ties out of it, uh, what they call a black gum. And that's where the, the, I don't know how to explain it. You'd have to look it up and have it explained to you. But it's, it, it's interesting. But anyhow, my lamps are going to be made out of red oak. And that's where I'm at now. And... What I'm going to do is probably take this one and probably this one and get my draw knife, shave the bark off of it, and then see where I go from there. I may end up using this one too. I'll end up cutting them down in length. But that's where we're at now. I'm thinking of leaving this one and taking it down to the heartwood and making a red oak cane. That's going to be a lot of work to do that. A lot of work. Especially as it's been sitting down there seasoning since January. But that's where I'm at right now. I'll do more as I go along. <laughs> 